How's it going YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. So before this video begin, I just want to say this is being done with permission from building management. Do not attempt to use elevator keys without permission to do so. We're going to be doing a fire service phase one and two demo on this Schindler 3300 traction elevator. This is in a private building. Again, we do have permission to do this. We're going to be using this fire key. So the first thing you need to do to put the elevator into fire service is insert your fire service key into the recall station here and turn it to on. This will recall the elevator and put it out of service and the fireman's hat here will light up. And once it arrives, the alarm will stop, the car will park, doors will stay open, call button completely disabled. That would be the same on all the floors. Now we come inside. Again, all the floors are completely disabled. None of the buttons work except for the alarm bell and the phone. All right, so now, as you can see, fireman's hat is lit up. Now, if that were flashing at any point, you do not want to use the elevator because that means that the elevator has been automatically recalled by a device related to the elevator and a shunt trip would ensue. So now we'll insert the fire key. As you can see, fireman's hat is lit up inside and there's the firefighter's panel. So now we'll turn phase two on. Now the elevator's in phase two fire service. As you can hear, the fans shut off, so I can select a floor now. Let's say I don't want to go there. Press call cancel. And I'll show it again here. Call cancel. Cancels out the call. Now, we're going to go to two. Now to close the door, you have to hold the door close button. If you take your finger off, the door will reopen. All right, now we're going to go to two. Holding the door close. Floor pass chime is disabled in fire service. All right, so now it's at two, but you notice the door is not opening. And this is for safety because if there's fire, you do not want that door to open. So to open it, again, you have to hold door open. Say you see fire out there, let go. Door's got automatic, door is gonna automatically close back up. All right, now we're gonna open the door. Another thing I want to point out, the safety eye is disabled in fire service and that's because it can't tell the difference between a human and smoke. So we're going to hold door close and stick my foot out in front. As you can see, door is still closing. All right. Now let's say you want to hold it at this floor. Turn your key back one notch to hold and you can remove it close your cabinet and inspect for potential fire. And you can come back, open your panel. Now let's say we want to send this back down to the recall floor for another firefighter. Turn it to off. This will sound the alarm. And once again, the elevator's not going anywhere until the fire service key is turned on. Also, if there were any restricted floors, those would be bypassed. Say it's either by, uh, by a key card or by a physically uh, key restricted floor. So let's pretend floor, th floor three is restricted. In fire service, you can go to floor three. 
Again, holding door close. Also, I'd like to point out that for some reason, Schindler fire panels have rear open and close buttons, but those don't apply because as you can see, there's only a front door. There's no rear door at all. All right, here we are at three. Hold door open. And here's floor three. As you can see, not much going on in here, but generally speaking, there's no public access is being worked on. All right, now we're gonna go back down to one. Oh, almost forgot. Got to turn fire service on. Go down to one. Here we are at one. Now to take it out of fire service, I'm gonna turn fire service off in here, close my cabinet, come back out to the recall station, and you can't just turn it to off, turn it all the way to bypass, hold for five seconds, and then turn it to off. And now we're out of fire service. Hope you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned for more and have a wonderful day.